how to convert a background color into a transparent background in GIMP, the GNU Image Manipulation Program. This is the main GIMP website where you can download GIMP, which is available for Windows, Macintosh, and most Unix systems. It is an image editor, an image manipulation program that's free, it's open source, and it's comparable in many ways to Photoshop and other popular uh, non-free image editors and image manipulation programs. All right, so what I'm going to do here is open this. This is a famous picture of the Earth from the Apollo 17 moon mission from NASA. It's in the public domain. And let's open it up in GIMP. Takes a little while to start GIMP up, a couple seconds. This is GIMP 2.10, or 2.0, yeah, 2.10. And it's loading more stuff. So one of the drawbacks of GIMP is it's kind of slow to start up. Uh, once it's up and running, it's great, but uh, it does take a while to load a lot of plugins and do various things to get started. So it's best to leave it up once you have it running and only shut it down when you're sort of finished for the day or done with your project or something like that. Okay, so this is the GNU image program. We need to convert it. And this is the image and it has a black background. Let me just show the about for GIMP. So this is 2.10.18 and uh, it's up to date today, May 27th, 2020. So it's the most recent version of GIMP. So I want to demonstrate this with the most recent version of GIMP. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add an alpha channel. We go down to transparency and we want to add the so-called alpha channel, which is needed for the um, transparency effect. The next thing that we want to do is select the background. And I'm going. there's actually two ways to do this. One is fuzzy select and the other is by color select. I'm going to color select and I'll click on the background. Now you can see it's identified the background and the dots that are flashing on and off show the area that's been selected. Now what I want to do is actually clear that background. So I, in the edit menu, I go to the clear menu item. You can also do this with the delete key. And there we go. So what we see now is this sort of hash background indicates the transparency. Now I'm going to save it. And what I will do is with transparent background. And this is an XCF file, which is GIMP's own format. It's not a typical format. Now what I want to do is I want to export. And I'm going to export a PNG file or a GIF file. I'm going to use a PNG format that's portable network graphics, and it supports transparent backgrounds. So let's go ahead and export it. And OK, you have to click the export here in this dialog box. And there is a progress bar here as it encodes the image or exports the image to the PNG file. Takes a little while. Uh, this, by the way, is a Windows 10 computer. It's an LG Gram laptop. And it uh, works pretty well. There are faster computers, but it's extremely lightweight and portable. All right, so we've got that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to open the PNG file that I created here. So this is the PNG file. I'm going to open that. Progress bar loading the file. So now we have this. And actually, I'll close this. All right. So now this is the file I created with the transparency. This is the PNG file. And I'm going to copy it. And then what I'm going to do is open. And I'm going to get this picture of this young woman. It's from a painting from the 1870s. It's on the public domain also. And here we go. Oh, actually, I do need to do something else. Sorry, I jumped the gun. OK, so I, this was a huge image, and it will be too big to put into the image with the girl. 
But what I'm going to do is make it a lot smaller. So we're going to make it only 100 pixels by 100 pixels. We'll scale it. And then we're going to save it as a, sorry. Yeah, I will say 100 pixels. 100 pixels. There we go. Now this is an XCF file, so as before, we want to export it as a PNG. And we will export it as a PNG file. Okay, and then we will open it. And again, let me do this. So this is the one we want. And let me double check that. It's the PNG file. And again, it reads it in. So now we have this much smaller one. So as you can see, this file is about 600 pixels across in width and approximately 800 in height. So the original several thousand pixel image of the Earth, 3,000 pixel image of the Earth would be way too big. So again, let's copy this. And then I'm going to paste it. And there we are. So now we have this. And when it doesn't come with a black background that's inconsistent with the background in the picture. So I can set it up here, position it, so the girl is now looking at a tiny globe at an Earth. So let me now save this as her, and we'll say looking at the Earth. All right. Okay, and we don't actually need that anymore. And we can now export this as whatever we want. So we'll make her a PNG also. And we will export. And again, we get the progress bar while it's creating the PNG file. If we go back to our demo folder, um, here, here it is. And there's a preview, and it shows now we have put the Earth in this picture. By making the background transparent, it fits in very well. Uh, it's, you know, it's on top of the background of the painting, and so it looks like it fits pretty well into the picture. Of course, you can do much more complicated manipulations with multiple images and components by doing this. So that concludes this demo of how to convert a background to a transparency, to a transparent background in the GNU image manipulation program. This concludes this video presentation. If you like this video, please click like. Please click subscribe and the notification bell if you would like to receive more content from us. You can avoid internet censorship by subscribing directly to our RSS news feed. Please consider sharing the link by email or on your website or blog in addition to liking, upvoting, or sharing on increasingly censored, advertising beholden, and big company social media. We have encountered such censorship. Mathematical software is developing software to automate data analysis, reducing the risks of costly errors and improving results. You can support our work financially by subscribing on our Patreon page. Scan the QR code in the lower right corner to get the Patreon link. Our Patreon link is also in the show notes below.